print line. Okay, hello world. Okay, bam, we got it. All right, so it's gonna print that back out. You can also do arithmetic in here. So a little two plus two, it's gonna come out to four. Let's say two times 10, come out to 20. So we'll say 50, what about five? Gonna come out to 10. Okay, so you get the, you get the understanding. Now, you can also declare the variables. Variables are not mutable. You cannot change them by default. Let me show you exactly what I mean, all right? So we're gonna declare this variable num, okay? We're gonna make it five, all right? So we can do num plus five. Okay, so it's gonna give me a 10, right? So let's say that I wanna try to redeclare this variable with the WARIS operator. This is this this operator right here is considered the WARIS operator. Uh, or at least that's what I believe they call it. That's what they call it in Python, and I believe that's what it's called in Go as well. Alright. So this is used for declaring variables. If you want to assign it, you just use the regular equals. I'll show you that next. Okay. So here we go. Okay, so we're gonna try to declare it the you know, we're gonna try to initialize it again. And bam, we get an error because it's not mutable. I can't. I cannot use this var. I cannot reinitialize this variable throughout the whole program. I can reassign it. Doing okay. So let's say we got. Let's say we want to change this to six. Okay, it won't do it because the variable is not mutable. Okay, so all right, let's make a mutable variable, right? So we'll say num two, and we'll make that four. Okay, so let's say num2 plus num, that's going to come out to 9. Okay, so we have our mutable variable. All right, now now that num2 is mutable, we can, we can change this. Mutable, think about mutable as changeable. I, I always use the word uh, mutate. The variable can mutate now. Okay, so let's put 5 in there, and now it's 5, right? So now num... 2 plus num uh, num okay so we got 10 you see up there that num is, is equal to 5 okay and you can do the same thing as far as, as as strings as well too so let's say string let's say string str string and just declare a string with with a uh, with a quote or a single quote you can say hi you okay so hi you all right but like I said this is not mutable so I will not be able to change this variable or add you know or add to it to it or pen to it so we'll say hi again I'm gonna throw an error because it's not mutable okay so we'll mute it we'll make a string that's mutable string Two, and we'll say hi one more time. Okay, bam. So we got that, and now I'll be able to change this variable and operate on it. Uh, no, it's not that. Hi two. Let's just say hi two. All right, so we can print that string out. Print line, str. Okay, okay, that's going to be high u. That's going to be the first one we had up there. And then let's let's do the second one. Okay, string two. Okay, so it's going to say high two because it because it's mutable. Okay.